five toys should kids get for Christmas and why Santa shouldn't be handing out iPads. Grab a cup of coffee and let's chat. Hey mamas, what's good? Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. My name is Crystal and I'm all about helping you stress less, save time and do more. And on Saturdays, we talk about random stuff and hang out and have a cup of coffee. How are you guys doing? How is your week going? I had just put out my uh, $20 Thanksgiving dinner video. I'll put it up here for you guys to check out after we hang out first, okay? Let's, let's relax before we start making a grocery list, heading to the store, getting everything you need for Thanksgiving, but it's up there if you guys wanna take a look at it. If you're on a budget this year, it's really gonna help you out. It's very simple, simple menu as well. It's gonna, you're gonna be really fast in the kitchen too, so super fast. I figured with Black Friday around the corner and Cyber Monday, you guys were already starting to think about gifts for the kids. Today, guys, I really wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about whether or not Santa should be giving big ticket items to kids like iPads or computers or huge gaming systems. But first, how many toys should children get for Christmas? Let's be real. I don't have a job this year and I'm really like anxious about how many toys I'm going to get him as well as like, you know, other grandparents are also going to buy him stuff and my brother and uh, my sister-in-law. How many should I be responsible for? I discovered the four toy rule. Something they want, something they need, something to wear, something to read. Okay, this is such a really good idea. This way I'm not overspending and I'm giving him exactly what he needs. Now I'm probably going to gift him more than just like one clothing item. Let's be realistic. He's growing like a bean and I can't keep up. I'm trying my best to like keep up, but it's very difficult. For toys, not really gonna buy him toys. If you guys didn't know, I have a Love Every subscription that really takes care of that. Um, so I just don't, I'm not buying toys for him this year. And of course I'm gonna buy him books anyway, just because I love giving him books. He absolutely loves to read. So proud. <laughs> I'm like, oh my little, my little reading boy is so cute. Oh, let me get some coffee. Mm, that's so good. Always good, always good coffee. Um, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm very, very stressed out about Christmas and this just kind of like takes the edge off. Just think of like four gifts in general, what can you give them? Because they're gonna get gifts from grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, anyway, right? And like all my friends are probably gonna buy him stuff too. So it's just like, oh my goodness. Oh, also guys. I wasn't gonna do like a whole video on this, but I think it'd be a really great idea to create a wish list for presents for your kids or for you. So like this year, if someone asked me like, what do you want for Christmas? I'd be like, I actually have a wish list. Why don't you go check it out? On it, it's probably gonna be towels because I would prefer that you buy me towels than some trinkets. I need new towels. I thought this would be a great way to show the grandparents as well as the aunts and the uncles the toys that I would prefer my son to play with. And then that way too, I'm not getting multiples of the same toys. That way if they see like, oh, someone bought it, maybe I can get this other toy or maybe I'll get this other item that they need. I think that's gonna be a really great idea. Please do it. It's super simple. You just go into Amazon, you do wish lists and you just create the wish list and you can make it, um, you can share it with uh, friends and family. It'll give you a link and you can just share it, email it, text it, all that stuff. I am part of the Amazon affiliate program. On some of my videos, I have uh, affiliated links. That's just, I just disclaimer. I figured that maybe that I would need to do that too here. I don't know. Anyways, okay. So let's talk Santa. Let's talk about Santa giving out iPads. What? <laughs> I don't like this idea. I don't know why this became a thing like, oh, Santa got you this big present. Listen, you worked hard, first off, to give them that gift, okay? You put in the hours at work, you made the money, you made the sacrifices to get that gift. And you wanna give credit to Santa? No, 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 no. If it's gonna be a big ticket item like that, mom and dad bought you this for Christmas, not some figment of imagination, just saying. But another thing too is that, think about the perspective that that gives other children that can't get iPads from Santa because not a lot of families can afford iPads. So the example that I've seen many, many times is that the children go to school, they talk to their buddies about what they got from Santa, what they got at Christmas. And this one kid will be like, oh, I got this like really cool trike or whatever from Santa. And the other kid's like, well, I only got gloves. Why doesn't Santa love me enough to get me trike? 
or um, you know an iPad or some crazy big ticket item. I understand that some people will be like, well, that's not my problem, okay? I'm not that, like that kid's not mine. I don't really care. That's just such a negative way to think about it. Like, don't you care about the emotional well-being of other children just in general? Like, I don't want, like if Roman grows up and has a buddy, I don't want that buddy to feel like he's not wanted or loved by Santa because he didn't get a trike or an iPad. I mean, come on. Moving forward in the future, my son will be only getting hats and scarves and gloves from Santa because I don't want other parents to feel like they're not doing good enough to like fill this like figment creature's role, I guess, just a creature, like Santa's a creature, no. This like fake character, this fake holiday character um, and having to fill that role, fill the shoes of that role and then having their children go to school and their friend has this really expensive ticket item. Excuse me, there's a hair on my face. Friend has this really big ticket item and they didn't get it and then they have to have that really tough conversation with their children about why Santa didn't give them an iPad. Just help another mom out. Like don't give her more stress. That's just such a tough conversation to have. Like, oh well, we don't make enough money as you know, Joel does, or Joel's family does. It's so difficult to, to deal with that. And just think about the other parent on the other, on the other end of that conversation, okay? Don't put them in that situation. Don't put them in that predicament. So just keep Santa minimal. Keep them hats, scarves, gloves, Super simple. They need new ones every year anyway, because they like destroy them or they get shrunk or they get destroyed in the washing machine. So just, just, just do that. What time is it? Oh, we got to get going. Very short coffee chat today. I feel like I'm rushing just because my son is awake. I am very behind this morning. Whew, I am so behind. Down off in the comments below about the four gift rule as well as whether or not Santa should be giving big ticket items to children every year for Christmas. Also on Wednesday, I'm gonna be sharing some baby and toddler gift ideas. So be sure to subscribe, ring the bell and select notifications to all so you know the moment that I post. Before I go, no matter what, happens today. All that matters is that you make your kids smile. You've got this mama. Cheers.